Hello, my dear students. Very good morning, all of you. In last lecture, we discussed about a pyrolytic elimination reaction. Today, I'm going to teach you a six-membered ring containing unsaturation. What is unsaturation? Unsaturation means there is a presence of carbon-carbon double bond. Means this carbon will get sp2 hybridized. It's called as a unsaturation. Suppose if six-membered cyclic ring containing unsaturation, this. I am taking one example of this cyclohexene. There is presence of one carbon-carbon double bond. Hence, the name of this compound is cyclohexene. That is, this carbon is also sp2 hybridized and this carbon is also sp2 hybridized. Okay, there is presence of one unsaturation. That is carbon-carbon double bond. If, as we know, the six-membered ring of cyclohexene Okay, containing cyclic structure, cyclohexane, the chair conformation is more stable conformation. But in this cyclohexane, if there is presence of one unsaturation, then the chair conformation is not stable conformation. Suppose this structure, I am right here in the chair form of this structure. Okay, there is presence of this carbon-carbon double bond. And this is also sp2 hybridized. This carbon is also sp2 hybridization. But there is due to the presence of this double bond, there is a strain okay so this is not favorable or this is not proper structure of this cyclohexene means the chair conformation is not stable in cyclohexene the structure of this cyclohexene is like this suppose there is presence of this carbon carbon double bond here is also one carbon and here is also one carbon this is the structure of this cyclohexene and it is a destroyed distorted chair conformation the structure is like this destroyed chair conformation in this suppose i am going right here the numbering here 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 the structure of this cyclohexane is distorted chair conformation okay and here is c1 c2 c3 c4 c5 and c6 in that the c1 the carbon 1 and c2 are ethylenic carbon are ethylenic carbon and the carbon number c3 the carbon number c3 and c6 are allylic carbon Carbon number C3 and C6 are allylic carbon. And here the C4 and C5 carbons are staggered carbon. C4 and C5 carbons are staggered carbon. In which the in C4 and C5 are normally staggered to each other. Hence, here is one is axial hydrogen and one is equatorial hydrogen. These are normally staggered, means normally axial hydrogen and normally equatorial hydrogen. Here is also in carbon number 5, there is also one hydrogen is axial hydrogen and one hydrogen is equatorial hydrogen. These are also present in axial and equatorial in nature. But in C3 and C6 carbon, these are not a proper or normal axial or equatorial hydrogen. There is a presence of, the presence of axial and equatorial hydrogen is present, but it's not a proper axial and equatorial hydrogen. These are a pseudo-axial and pseudo-equatorial hydrogen. That is, as I mentioned here, A dash is a pseudo-axial and A E dash is a pseudo-equatorial. Here is also pseudo equatorial and pseudo axial hydrogen is present okay you get my point and c1 c2 c3 and c6 both all are the four carbons are in one plane here c1 c2 c3 and c4 all carbons are in are present in one plane Okay, in this structure, the cyclohexene, the structure as I write here, it is a destroyed chair conformation in that C1 and C2 are ethylenic carbon, C3 and C6 are a 
anionic carbon and C4 and C5 are staggered to each other and in which in C4 and C5 are normally axial, show normally axial and equatorial hydrogen. But in C3 and C6, there are, uh, they all are in one plane. Okay, hence it, it is not a proper axial or proper equatorial hydrogen. They are pseudo axial and pseudo equatorial hydrogen. In C3 and C5, C6, there is present of pseudo axial and pseudo equatorial hydrogen. Okay. This is the structure of cyclohexane, means six membered ring containing unsaturation. Okay, now the next point is cyclohexane non. Okay, do you get this? Now, next point is cyclohexane, means there is also a six membered ring containing unsaturation, and I am taking the example of cyclohexane on. Hexanon, O-N-E, non means ketone. Okay, hence the structure of this cyclohexanon is like this. This is the structure of this cyclohexanon. And as I am right here in the chair form, the structure is like this. Okay, this is the structure of this cyclohexane and this is the structure of this cyclohexanon. Okay, this is the structure of this cyclohexanon. And in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, as I numbering here the carbon of this cyclohexanon, there is a hydrogen at axial position and this hydrogen at, at equatorial position. Okay. In equatorial substituents, suppose if this hydrogen is replaced by any alkyl group, okay, then this equatorial substituents and this carbonyl carbon with oxygen there is some interaction is and both are these are nearly eclipsed nearly eclipse nearly eclipse to each other okay this hydrogen or this equatorial hydrogen or any alkyl group is nearly eclipse to this carbonyl oxygen group okay the second number position of this carbon, the hydrogen, the equatorial hydrogen is nearly eclipsed to this oxygen, carbonyl oxygen. But in second number of this axial hydrogen, the second number of this axial hydrogen is staggered with respect to this carbonyl oxygen. Okay. As I am again show you this second number position of this carbon at equatorial position of this hydrogen is nearly eclipsed to this ca carbonyl oxygen but this hydrogen second number position of this hydrogen is staggered or with respect to this carbonyl oxygen okay now suppose this equatorial hydrogen is replaced or it is replaced by any alkyl group okay any alkyl group suppose i am taking the ch3 group okay suppose it is replaced by ch3 group then methyl group then there is some interaction is occurs here okay and suppose this is a this this second number position of this carbon with methyl and the ketonic group means carbonyl oxygen there is interaction and it this is called as two alkyl keto effect two alkyl keto effect okay in the cyclohexanon this shows the two alkyl keto effect two alkyl keto effect and if suppose This alkyl group of methyl group is replaced by C2H5. Here is hydrogen. And again one example is, is replaced by isopropyl group. Is replaced by isopropyl group. Then there is some interaction. As 
we remember one thing as the alkyl group increases the energy is also going to increases suppose this methyl group here is also ethyl group and here is a isopropyl group as the carbon number increases or in the number of carbon is increases the energy is also increases here is also the energy is increases and in that suppose this is a this equatorial methyl group is at the axial position ch3 h equatorial then there is some interaction okay here is interaction this there is this methyl group interact with this hydrogen and this hydrogen okay this means the total difference between this and axial methyl group and equatorial methyl group their difference energy difference is 1.6 kilo calorie per mole okay 1.6 kilo calorie per mole okay in the same structure if this ethyl group is at the axial position and this is at the equatorial there is also the hydrogen interaction okay 1 3 hydrogen interaction and the difference is 1.1 kilo calorie per mole the energy difference between this axial and equatorial is 1.1 kilo calorie per mole and in the next if the isopropyl group is at the axial position then the energy difference is 0.4 kilo calorie per mole the energy difference between this axial and equatorial the energy difference is 0.4 kilo calorie per mole the as one thing is remember but as the alkyl group increases the energy is also increases and there is interaction is also increases but at axial to equatorial but at axial to equatorial the energy difference is 1.1 kilocalorie for this ethyl group and 1.4 kilo